Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to find the equation of a straight line, which is perpendicular to another given line. So without further ado, I will share my computer screen with you. It says, find the equation of the line perpendicular to the line 3x minus 9y equal to 18 and passing through another point minus 2, 4. So it is perpendicular to this st given straight line, which is 3x minus 9y equal to 18. And it passes through that line whose equation we have to find out passes through minus 2, 4. So I have a big uh, question for you. Question. Can we use the equation of the line? Equation of a line passing through a point. x1, y1 with slope say m and what is that equation? What is that equation? It is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Okay. So we know x1 and y1, the point, the coordinates of the point, the paired data point through which the line passes. So given to me, given x1 equal to minus 2, and y1 equal to 4. These are the coordinates of the given point. But how do I find? How to find the slope m? That is the question which I will answer slowly. Please do not leave because I'm going to give you the tip and walk through this problem. How to find the slope m of the equation of the new line, which is perpendicular to the line 3x minus 9y equal to 18. Okay, how to find the slope? Okay, that is the question. So that is the question. Okay. So we are going to use this equation provided we know the slope and we know the slope m of this line and the slope of the given line 3x minus 9y is equal to 18. The two, the two lines are perpendicular. Okay. So what is the, char this on the web. what is the characteristic we are going to use? Hint. Product of slopes, slopes of two lines which are perpendicular. Perpendicular. Perpendicular means they intersect at 90 degree. Perpendicular intersect at 90 degree angle, which are perpendicular to each other. And that is product of the two slopes is M1, slope of the first line, M2, slope of the second line.
m1 multiplied by m2 is equal to minus 1. This is the product of the slopes of the two lines which are perpendicular to each other. The product of the two slopes is equal to minus 1. We have to utilize this property. So how to do that? Well, we have been given the equation of the first line. Okay. And we need to find the slope. Okay, so let's uh, change the color of the plane to, to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's uh, go to this green color. Okay, and let's move our screen up so that we will create some space. So I'll hold it over here. So because the equation of the given line I will take care of this, don't worry. I will throw it to the garbage and I will remove this. So equation equation of the given line. Equation of the given a line of the given a line is three x minus nine y equal to eighteen. Hint. Next hint. I'll change the color because this is not too interesting. It's too light for me. So let's change the color. Uh, let's go to this one. This is darker. Okay. So equation of the given line is this. Convert this equation. Convert this equation to slope intercept form. Slope intercept form. which is y equal to mx plus b. Okay, now let me create some space. Let me create some space. So my given equation is given. 3x minus 9y equal to 18. Well, in the form y equal to mx plus b, y and x variables are separated. That is, y is on the left-hand side of the equal to sign, x is on the right-hand side. So in order to do, accomplish that task, we have to remove 3x, uh, we have to remove this 3x from the left-hand side by subtracting it from both sides of the equal to sign. So 3x minus 3x, they will cancel. So I'll be left with minus 9y equal to minus 3x plus 18 on the right-hand side. Now I have to convert it to y equal to mx. So I have to remove the coefficient or the number in front of y on the left-hand side, which is minus nine. Now notice it is minus nine times y. So I'm going to divide by minus nine in all the terms on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, which leads to minus nine will cancel with minus nine. So I'm left with y equal to minus three will cancel with minus nine, leaving a three. So one third x, one third is the coefficient of x, so because there will be a one on the top and three in the denominator, one third x and 18 divided by nine is two, but, but plus divided by minus makes it a minus two. Why did I do that? Because the coefficient of m is the slope of the first line is one third. Now I will use the other property, okay? 
that uh, let me change the color of the plane so we know the slope of two perpendicular lines the product of the slopes of two perpendicular lines is equal to minus one so my m1 is one third multiplied by m2 which is the slope of the second line where m1 is slope of the first line slope of the given line which is one third and m2 is the slope of the perpendicular line of the perpendicular line that is the intersect at 90 degree perpendicular line if you have stuck with me so far you know where i'm going i'm going to solve for m2 from this given equation so uh, this i write uh, correctly this is uh, is equal to minus one okay so this is minus one okay uh, now i move up create some space so i have to solve for m2 from this equation one third times m2 equal to minus one so what will i do since this is divided by three i'll do the opposite on both sides so I will multiply by three on both sides of the equation is equal to minus one times three. Okay, now three multiplied by one third, they cancel out, which leaves us with M2 on the left-hand side is three times minus one is equal to minus three. So this is the slope of the perpendicular line perpendicular line and now it is also given to us that this perpendicular line passes through a given point which is minus 2 4 and i have already written the uh, equation of a line which passes through a given point x1 y1 as this so i'm going to utilize this i also notice my x1 is minus 2 and y1 equal to 4 i have solved for the slope which is negative 3 so remember my x1 is minus 2 my y1 is 4 from the given point coordinates of the given point minus 2 4 so I will repeat that again here. Maybe I'll change the color of the ink and go back to this color. So X1 is equal to minus two, Y1 equal to four coordinates of the point through which the perpendicular line passes through which the perpendicular line passes. Let me make sure that I did it correctly. So let me check once more that it is x1 is equal to minus 2 and y1 equal to mm, 4. So x1 equal to minus 2 and y1 equal to 4. And m is the slope of the perpendicular line, which is minus 3. <laughs> so if I plug all this in the equation of the line passing through a point x1, y1 is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So that will become y, y1 is 4, m is the slope of the perpendicular line, which is minus 3 times x minus and minus 2. x coordinate of the given point is minus 2. 
Now, if I move it a little bit up and create some space for myself, you will see y minus 4. I will distribute the negative 3 to x, which makes it minus 3x. And minus, uh, uh, let me, give me a minute. I will not immediately distribute the minus 3. I will leave it outside. So minus 3 and x, two minuses make it plus. Now I will distribute the minus 3 to both the terms on the right hand side. So y minus 4 equal to minus 3x and minus times plus is minus again. 3 times 2 is 6. Now I can add 4 on both sides. So this becomes y equal to minus 3x and minus 6 plus 4. 6 is greater than 4 from 6. You subtract 4 and keep the negative side of sign of the larger number, which is minus 6. So the answer is 6 minus 4 is 2, and then negative sign of minus 6, which is this. So this is the equation of the line, which is perpendicular to the given line and passing through the given point. This is our final answer. So let me give you some tips. So first, I found out the slope of the given line. Then I use the property that slope of a line which is perpendicular to the given line is a negative inverse of the given line. So the slope of the given line was one third and negative inverse of that is minus three. Okay, so that will be the slope of the perpendicular line. And it is going to pass through a given point minus 2 and 4, which are the coordinates of ordered pair minus 2, 4. And then I use the equation of a line passing through a given point with a known slope, which is y minus y1 equal to m, which is the slope of the perpendicular line times x minus x1. I plugged in the value of y1, value of the slope, value of x1 and did algebraic manipulation. Finally, we come up with the equation y equal to minus 3x minus 2 is the equation of the line which is perpendicular to the given line and passing through the given point. I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And please come back tomorrow when I will solve another problem. Okay. And do not forget to check my channel every day because every day I solve a new problem with a new solution. Again, if you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks for watching. Hope you stuck with me till the end, until the end. Again, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.